Acuity Scheduling Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Acuity Scheduling, the online appointment scheduling software that helps you book and manage your appointments with ease. Acuity Scheduling is a complete online scheduling solution for your business. It offers powerful tools such as calendar syncing, automated email and text message reminders, payment processor integrations, and more. In this video, you'll learn the difference between Acuity Scheduling and Squarespace, how to create your account, the features and functionalities Acuity Scheduling offers, and how to create appointments in Acuity Scheduling. So before getting started, we would like to explain some common confusion that people have about Acuity Scheduling and Squarespace and how they are related. Acuity Scheduling is powered by Squarespace, the website builder and hosting platform. This means that when you sign up for Acuity Scheduling, you also create a Squarespace account that you use to log into Acuity. You can use your Squarespace account to access other Squarespace products and services, such as websites, domains, email marketing, etc. However, you don't need a Squarespace website to use Acuity Scheduling, and you can embed Acuity Scheduling on any Squarespace site even if the two are not connected in your account dashboard. You can also customize your Acuity links to match your brand and domain. So, to summarize, Acuity Scheduling and Squarespace are related but not the same. You can use Acuity Scheduling with or without a Squarespace website, and you can use your Squarespace account to log into Acuity and access other Squarespace products and services. To begin using Acuity Scheduling, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Try Scheduling button available on the home page. This will redirect you to the registration page where you can create your new Acuity Scheduling account. Upon reaching the registration page, you'll find two options for signing up. You can either use your Google account or provide your email address for registration. Choose the option that suits you best. After selecting your preferred method and completing the necessary steps, you will successfully create your Acuity Scheduling account. Once your account is created, you'll be directed to your account dashboard. However, before gaining full access to the dashboard, a pop-up window will appear prompting you to set up your scheduling page. This step is essential for configuring your scheduling preferences and options. If you're not ready to set up your scheduling page at the moment, you can simply click on the Close button on the pop-up window. This will bypass the setup for now and grant you access to your account dashboard. The Acuity Scheduling Dashboard offers a straightforward and user-friendly interface, making it easy to navigate and access various functionalities. The dashboard features a left menu that contains important tabs to explore the platform's capabilities. At the top of the left menu, you'll find your business name prominently displayed. By clicking on your business name, a left sidebar will open, providing options to manage your business name. To change your business name, simply hover over the Your Business Name option, and an Edit option will appear. Click on Edit, and you can modify the name to your preference. Remember to click Save to apply the changes. Additionally, just below your business name in the left sidebar, you'll find the option for Squarespace Scheduling, which allows you to integrate scheduling features with your Squarespace website, commerce, email campaigns, domains, and Google Workspace. Moving down the left menu, the next tab is Acuity Scheduling. In this section, you can perform various tasks related to managing your schedule and appointments. You can create appointments, set your availability, design your scheduling page to reflect your branding, and easily share your scheduling page with clients. The Calendar tab within Acuity Scheduling lets you view your appointments and orders on the calendar. It provides a clear overview of your schedule and allows you to create new appointments and orders efficiently. The Clients tab enables you to view your existing clients and gives you the option to add new ones. The Invoices tab provides access to view your invoices and create new ones, streamlining your billing process. Moreover, the Reports tab presents various reports related to appointments, revenue, users, intake forms, and more, offering valuable insights into your business's performance. In the Client Scheduling Page section, you can access the link to your client scheduling page where they can easily book appointments with you. The General Scheduling page displays all public appointment types, while the Customization option allows you to personalize the appearance of your scheduling page to align with your brand identity. The Business Settings section grants you access to several tabs that enable you to configure various aspects of your scheduling process. 
You can manage your availability, define different appointment types, set up intake form questions, handle packages, gifts, and subscriptions, integrate with other platforms, synchronize with other calendars, and customize your payment settings. Finally, the notification section provides access to client email and client SMS features. This allows you to send important notifications and reminders to your clients, improving communication and reducing the likelihood of missed appointments. Now, let's see how to create appointments in Acuity Scheduling. We use Acuity Scheduling to make appointments online because it's a helpful tool for booking and organizing appointments easily. Both us and our clients can use it. It comes with lots of useful features and connections with other tools to make scheduling simple and convenient for everyone involved. To get started with creating appointments, navigate to the left menu and click on the Calendar tab. Upon clicking, the calendar page will open, displaying your existing appointments and their order for a one-week period. If you haven't created any appointments yet, the calendar areas will be empty, ready for you to add new appointments. To create a new appointment, click on the Add New button located at the top right corner of the calendar page. This will present you with two options, Appointment and Order. Select Appointment to proceed with creating a new appointment. Once you choose Appointment, a pop-up window will appear, guiding you through the appointment creation process. Click on Create and you will be redirected to the Appointment Types page where you can define the specific details of the appointment you want to create. On the Appointment Types page, you have two choices for the type of appointment you wish to create, New Type of Service or New Type of Group Class. For this tutorial, we will select the first option, New Type of Service. After selecting New Type of Service, you will be taken to another page where you can input the appointment's relevant information. Start by entering the name of the service. If you want to provide additional information or a longer description, click on Add a Longer Description under the Service Name field, and a field for the description will appear. Here you can add all the necessary details to inform your clients about the service. In the Duration field, specify how long the appointment will last. Next, enter the price of the appointment in the Price field to communicate the cost to your clients. Acuity Scheduling also allows you to attach files, such as pictures, to the appointment. To do so, click on the Choose File option and upload the desired picture from your computer. In the Access section, you can decide whether the appointment should be public or private. Simply click on the radio button next to Public or Private to make your choice. If you intend to create a class or event that multiple people can sign up for, check the box in the Group Class section. Finally, once you have entered all the necessary information, click on the Create Appointment Type button to finalize and save the appointment. With these simple steps, you can efficiently create appointments in Acuity Scheduling, streamlining your scheduling process and ensuring a smooth experience for both you and your clients. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Acuity Scheduling. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.